It's, it's interesting, Rebecca, because we almost feel like we know you because we've, you know, so much has been written about you. We see you in magazines. Has that been strange for you to suddenly have all this attention? Yeah. Because of Jamie, effectively, you know, that, that amazing story of, yeah. of Leicester Football Club and suddenly everybody was talking about him and therefore you too. Yeah, it's incredible, the story, isn't it? Um, but to begin with, I, I didn't want the, to be in the public mm. eye at all, but there was so much that was being written about me that wasn't true that I was put out there by the media anyway. So I thought, you know, if they're going to write lies about mm. me, then I'm, I may as well, you know, mm. do something off the back of it. And it's hard to read that stuff, isn't it? When it's, it's horrible, yeah. People are making opinions about you and things. And we, we said there in the, in the link, you know, people trolling you. Because, you know, there's yeah. lots of lovely stuff that's written about the two of you, of yeah. course. Um, but the trolling, it must be t very difficult, particularly when they're doing that about your baby. Yeah, it was, it was horrific. What kind of things were people um, saying about you? It was just wishing um, stillbirth on him. Oh, and unbelievable. Just it? really disgusting stuff. And it, it is... A minority of people, mm. and these people are. Becky, do people just tell you that, or do you actually read that stuff? I mean, you're not tempted to stop reading it and stop disturbing yourself so no, much. No, I don't think I'd ever stop reading it because I think the minute you take yourself away from that is the minute that the trolls win. And mm. is, is that on Twitter? Yeah, Twitter, Instagram. Um, last do you reply night. back to them? Occasionally, um, yeah, because I think it's really important to yeah. highlight what we go through, you know, like stuff that you, you should go name through and shame them like stuff. what I do. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it, I mean, it gets really serious because you and Jamie have had death threats, haven't you? Yeah, there's been death threats. Um, I had someone try and run me off the road the other day. Oh, God. So how seriously do, do are these death threats taken? I mean, what measures do you have to take as a family then um, to protect yourself? We've always got security, but you just never know. You can never take things for granted um, when you. You never know if that person's actually going to follow through with something. So, you know, to to just brush it off like it's nothing would be really stupid to do. And I suppose, really, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Um, having security people with you all the time and watching, I mean, that's a different lifestyle as well, isn't it? It's not yeah. really how you want to live your life. No, it can be quite intrusive sometimes, mm. but, you know, we do it to protect ourselves. So, say you go food kids. shopping, obviously, you're normal, like all of us, you go food shopping and stuff. Do they follow you, like, to do food shopping? I do a cardio, so I don't do that. <laughs> 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 this person that tried oh, well. to run you off the road, do you think that's to do with the football team? Do you think that's all to do with Leicester? I wouldn't like to point fingers and say yes, definitely, but it was a coincidental um, in the time that, obviously, the manager got the sack. And it wasn't something that I wanted to discuss and talk about, mm. but Jamie decided, must have decided that he'd had enough yeah. um, of being portrayed as, you know, what he was portrayed as and decided to tell the media another side of the story. I don't even know he'd done it until I found out afterwards it was out there. And this was all to do with the second of the manager, which he had nothing to do with in the first place mm. anyway. It wasn't yeah, he was getting drug tested when this supposed meeting had taken place, so, no, it had nothing to do with him whatsoever. Mm. The thing is... You know, we often see you in the in these glossy magazines, and life looks incredibly glamorous, doesn't it? You know, the life of a footballer's wife, and you'll have lovely houses and cars. Um, I know you've had some some tough times yeah. in, in your life. Um, you were subject to <coughs> abuse, yeah. which I don't want to talk about too much, but just for people to know that that happened to you in your teenage years. Yeah. Um, also, postnatal depression. Yeah. Um, is it hard? Do you think people just assume you never have any problems in life? How, how have you dealt with those things? I think people in general, after you've had kids as a woman, just think that you're the superwoman, that you can just carry on, you just get up in the morning, you're fantastic with the kids and there's never any issues. I think it's a really taboo subject, especially with mm. postnatal depression. People say it doesn't exist, there's a lot of stigma surrounding it. But I found it really tough. Which mm. baby did you have that After with? Taylor, after my so second. I had it in junior, it's quite yeah. tough. It's hard. Sometimes I didn't even want to get out of bed. It's very much real until the point I, I realised I actually needed some support and just have you turned that around becky yeah. uh, because i mean you, you suffer quite a bit but you try to do something positive these days don't you to yeah. help other people so what do you do yeah I'm, I'm working closely with a charity called enough abuse and um marilyn um the founder of it she um goes to schools and she she teaches um people how to look out for the signs of children potentially being abused so it's more of 
tackling the problem head on because before it comes an issue mm. instead of having to pick up the pieces in the aftermath afterwards well listen that's a great uh, that's a great way to to use your experiences and like you said to, to not let it define you but <clears throat> to help other people and we mentioned your lovely baby Finley who've been looking at during the morning so we'd like to just bring on. him out <laughs> <laughs> just because we want to have a goo where is who's bringing Finley out you know how broody this is going to make him again here he comes oh sleeping don't oh my god he's so beautiful. beautiful I'll be like the baby so how, how old is he now Ten weeks. Ten weeks. Oh, oh, he's adorable. I just love baby. Who does he look like, you or Jamie? He looks like Sophia. Oh, does he? Yeah. Your daughter, yeah. 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 He's two. Oh, he's gorgeous. I love the way you're so feisty, the way you say, oh, if I want to breastfeed in public, I would breastfeed. You know, you, you're very is, good at yeah. putting forward the modern woman. The thing is, if he needs feeding, I'm, nothing's feeding. going to stop me. I can't just say, Actually, hang he's on looking a, a bit He's going to stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> feel free, feel free to feed oh, if you need to. There he is. Hi everyone. <laughs> Oh. Hello, baby. It's like, oh. what is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it's lovely to see Finley, and it's great to see you.